I'm Kimberly Friedmutter, and you're watching The Strip Live. Beautiful. Thank you, Kimberly. Hi, thank you. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. So, Kimberly, can you tell me the premise of your book? So the premise of the book is really about amplifying your subconscious where all of your real intelligence lies. So we become so conscious and, you know, the, the buzzing of every, if you drive a late model car, you know, I'm sure everything buzzes and whirs and dings and all these things. You're like, what did I do? I don't know what I did. You know, we're so consciously aware, especially your phone and your laptop, everything's like yelling at you. And so the consciousness is turned up to maximum. And I think we're just really at this edge. Whereas if you turn down the level of the consciousness and turn up the level of the subconscious, where all of your intuition, your gut, your instincts, everything you know you know about you and life around you, finding great parking spots, finding things that you lost in your house, that's the practical nature of it. Yeah. But on the big picture, it's really amplifying and using that. You know, the books in the past have been about, and self-help particularly about, you know, law of attraction, which is a beautiful thing, and I'm a, a big believer and user of that, but that it's out there. I say and contend that it's in here and that you have it in here, and it's been in here all along. It's your birthright. You're born with it. You just go for it but you have to really know how to listen to your intuition how many times have you like done something and you go I knew it I just oh, knew yeah. it you know and I didn't listen but it's about hearing that whisper and hearing that voice connecting to your inner eight-year-old that's not PC and has no filter you know <laughs> go go around any eight-year-old and they'll tell you you know what's that with your hair you know yeah. what's going on they're just like they're just such kids but they're so real and they're so honest and that's our true nature we have it there but we tend to just cover it up and then you know, make mistakes and travel the wrong road sometimes. So it's really about amplifying the gift that you already have and using the mind you have. So here's a big question for you. In our world, everyone is, like you said, everything's buzzing. How do we know that, first of all, how do we sit still so that we can hear that right message for us to move forward? Uh, and then how do we know it's just noise? Well, noise is loud and generally trying to get you to move into action. And knowledge is soft and subtle and is usually informing you. And so it's much like meditation. People aren't really familiar with trance. I'm a hypnotherapist. And so trance is like my thing. Like I say, don't zone in, zone out. Like zoning out is where it's all at. You know, people who use drug abuse or alcohol abuse, they're trying to get to that trance state. You know, numbing yourself is trying to get to trance. But you don't have to do that. You don't have to. To, you don't have to take substance in order to numb to get rid of pain you can just elevate now the subconscious and learn how to do that it's so easy you already have it it's your hardware it's like your hard drive it's just it, it would be like you wouldn't have the most fascinating machine in your home or wherever or your office and not use it right? Right, right but we do we don't use it we don't pay real homage to that gift that we have. So anyway, the book is due out April 9th, and it's at retailers nationwide everywhere. And um, yeah, I just want a lot of people to be able to just get it, and then we can all travel on the highway at the same speed. Well, <laughs> continued success, and thank you for thank being here you. and supporting such a fantastic cause. I appreciate you. And congratulations on your book. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yay.